Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have an awesome round of designer dupes for you all. And if you're unfamiliar with these videos, basically we find these high-end designer products and then we find much more affordable solutions that are basically look-alikes so you can get that high-end designer look in your space for a much more affordable price. So I have my laptop here and I insert photos on both sides of the screen so we kind of feel like we're online shopping together. And yeah, it should be a really fun video. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so for our first dupe, I've mentioned this several times on my channel before, but Pure Soul Interiors is one of my absolute favorite designers. I'm very inspired by them. And something that I see them do a lot is use a large statement piece of art that's often a photograph of a really peaceful nature scene. So, you know, breaking waves on the beach or a pretty shot of the water, something like that to just really help set the mood for the space and give off a really serene, calming feel. So this is something that I've actually done in my space as well. We have a really pretty calm beach print in our workout room. I just love how it gives that space a very serene vibe and was a really cheap and easy way to decorate the wall. So for our designer piece, we have this Hawaii beach day. It is priced at $1,898 for a 31 by 41 inch size. And I love pure salt interiors. I'd support you all if I could, but personally I cannot afford a $2,000 piece of wall art. So we're going to go on over to home goods. And this is actually where I found mine for our workout room. And it's not the same exact one, but it's super duper similar. It is this 30 by 40 inch size ocean surfer wall art and frame. So it's $60, big price difference there. And you still get that very calm, serene vibe. It's surfers in the ocean with the waves breaking, but just for a fraction of the price. And this would look so pretty hung over a console table or maybe in a hallway with a little picture light hung above it to kind of create a little moment on an otherwise blank wall. Definitely lots that you could do with this. And I will say once home goods sells out of something, they typically don't get it back in stock. So once it's gone, it's gone. And I did find another similar piece over on Amazon. This one is a little bit smaller at a 24 by 36 inch size, but this one is very similar. You can pick between a white or a natural frame and you know, it's a great option if the home goods one is sold out. All right. So something that I see lots of designers use in their kitchen spaces is woven bar stools and counter stools. And I really love these because they help to add some texture and warmth, especially when contrasted against a cold countertop and you know, very sleek surfaces. I think that woven materials contrast against that so well and really just help your space to kind of have this well-designed and very well-coordinated look to it. So this is something that we have implemented into our home as well. I love our woven bar stools and you know, especially in our kitchen, it's very light and bright so a punch of warmth and texture is much needed in our kitchen and our counter stools really help provide that and I just love the look of them. So another designer piece that has this woven look to it is this Minka stool from Mickey & Co. It is priced at $690. I really love the lines on this and how the black legs contrast against the woven material. I think that it's just such a well-designed piece and you know $690 is still a little pricey so we're gonna go on over to Wayfair and we have this gallon counter and bar stool for our dupe. It is priced at $284. So much cheaper and still has very similar lines. This piece also has some really great reviews and you can see lots of pictures within the reviews. So a great way to incorporate that natural woven material and get that high-end look in your space for a fraction of the price. All right, so for our next dupe, something that I see designers do a lot is use a chippy, distressed wood cabinet as a focal piece in a room. And it really just helps to create a statement and make the room feel like it has character and that it's lived in and really gives off that designer feel. So someone that does this a lot that I personally love is Amber Interiors. She has a very expensive armoire that's very chippy on her site. And I believe that's right around like $4,000, but we're gonna go for maybe a smaller, sized cabinet, you know, something that you could use in a dining room or just a little piece of a hallway, something like that. So it's a little bit more attainable. So we have this Kathy Kuo Home Donna French Country White Mango Wood Cabinet, and it is $1,463 for our designer version. And I love this piece. I love the distressed wood of it. I think that it would look really pretty in the corner of a dining room to hold some linens and maybe some extra glasses, or you could use it just in an empty space of a hallway with 
was a painting or a mirror popped over it, something like that. But you know, it's just very expensive at $1,400. So our dupe is going to be on over at Wayfair and it is this two door accent cabinet priced at $429 at the time of filming. Wayfair does fluctuate in price a lot with their sales and things like that. So this gives you that same rustic distressed look, lots of extra storage, but it's just a fraction of the price. And what I would personally do for this is I would just change out the hardware to be those ring pulls. I see those all the time in expensive designer pieces. So I would just swap them out for that. And I think that this would give your space such an expensive look for a fraction of the price. We also have another large cabinet. So this is the Hitchens cabinet. If you like a little bit more of that dark moody vibe in your space, this one is priced at $3,299 at Burke Decor. This piece also has those really pretty ring pulls, but you know, it's just a little bit pricey. And you know, sometimes designers are decorating these very large scale homes with lots of high ceilings and open spaces. So they need bigger pieces like this to fill out that space and provide that scale. But for a lot of us, we can kind of get away with something a little bit smaller that still has that same rustic look. So if we go on over to World Market, we have this Brittany Antique Reclaimed Pine Wood Storage Cabinet. So a little bit of a smaller scale. Again, I would swap out those knobs for the ring poles to get that similar look, but you know, it's a little bit smaller and this could kind of fit in a corner somewhere. This guy is priced at $899. So I do recognize that that is still pretty high, but it is at least a fraction of the $3,000 price of the larger one. So this one does come in two colors. And personally, I really like both of them. I'd have a hard time picking. I would probably just go with the gray black just because there is a single hole for the hardware and that would be easier to swap out compared to the black and ivory one, which has the two holes for the larger hardware. So some great options if you are looking to incorporate that distressed cabinet look into your space. All right, so this next dupe is one of my favorite kinds of styling pieces and it is a muslin throw. You cannot go wrong with these. They give your space that light, organic, natural, earthy feel, which I personally love. I think it's very calming and you can mix them in with whatever kind of decor style you have going on. They're very versatile. So our expensive designer version is going to be this Hanolin linen throw from EVB Antiques priced at $175. Now I love the crinkle texture of this and the fringe detail on the end. I think that's a great way to just add some texture and visual interest to your space without making anything too busy. And that way you can maybe add pattern in another place if you wanna do that in your pillows or your rug, or if you're just kind of a fan of making things very neutral and natural, this is a great option. So $175 for a throw is a little bit pricey. So we're gonna go on over to Amazon and we have this 100% organic muslin throw priced at $28.39. And I actually own this one. So I will say it is very much so on the thin side. It is not thick at all, so it won't provide you a lot of warmth, but it's a great light material for those hotter months when you know you just want something decorative and something to kind of break up your space with texture. So this is a great option and it comes in several different colors. And another place to always keep an eye out for is Marshalls and TJ Maxx and HomeGoods. They typically have those made in Portugal and made in Turkey throws that I am obsessed with. I have a bunch of those as well. And I just love that like crinkly organic material that they're made out of. I will try to link a couple down below that are currently in stock, but those do kind of cycle through quickly. So I'll do my best, but also just so you all know, everything in this video that can be linked will be linked below. So muslin throw, just a great high-end designer looking styling piece that's easy to incorporate into any space. All right, so for our next dupe, I've said this before on my channel and I'll say it again, an instant way to get that designer high-end look and feel to your space is actually to incorporate old, worn, and antique looking items. This is something that designers do very often and it just helps your space to feel curated and collected. And something that I personally like to incorporate into my space to give it that look is old worn chippy wood. You can see behind me, we have an old worn chippy little vintage stool. I have this really pretty wooden riser in our bathroom and I love the look of that. So we have a similar product over on Anthropology, and this guy is the reclaimed wood decorative tray and the large size is priced at $88 and it's actually currently on back order for several months. So it's still in very high demand even though 
though it is kind of pricey. So our more affordable version is actually going to be on over at Kirkland's and it is this gray mango wash wood riser. This guy is priced at $39.99. It's a very similar size to the large one that is priced at $80. So yeah, this has that same distressed old kind of worn look, even though it is a newer product that's made to look old, it still has that vintage vibe to it, which I really like. So this would be great to kind of organize and group some items together, maybe on a kitchen island or a bathroom countertop or a console table. It'd be great to maybe put some little greenery and a candle, something like that. So just a really sweet decor piece that kind of has that old vintagey chippy charm to it, which I personally love and feel like that helps to give your space that designer look and feel. All right, so our next dupe is going to be this Malibu handwoven seagrass 40 inch round wall mirror priced at $499 at Pottery Barn. And I personally think mirrors are such a great solution if you have a dark or a small space because they help reflect light and make that space kind of feel like it has an alternate dimension, therefore kind of creating the illusion of a bigger space. So that's a great design trick if you have a very small or a dark space that just needs a little bit of extra light reflected through it. Something that I like about this mirror specifically is the round shape of it. I think that that's a great way to kind of soften a space if you have a lot of 90 degree angles. And also the texture on here is really great to help warm up a space and just kind of create that earthy organic feel. However, $500 is very pricey for a mirror. So we're gonna go on over to TJ Maxx and we have this seagrass wall mirror priced at $60. So much cheaper, much more affordable. I will say this one is a 30 inch mirror, not a 40 inch mirror. So it's a little bit smaller in size, but 30 inches is still a very large size mirror. And I actually like the dupe better because I like the woven material on this one and how it kind of has that checkerboard pattern. And I think that that is just a lot more unique and special. And this one to me actually looks a lot more designer than the Pottery Barn one, which is crazy. So great option if you are looking for a mirror for your space or maybe you just need a little one for a guest bath or something like that. This is a really good designer looking piece. All right, so it's no secret that pleated lampshades have made a comeback. I have covered this in previous trends videos, and I know it's not for everyone, but most designers are implementing these into their spaces. I'm seeing them more and more often, so they are gaining in popularity. And maybe if you're drawn to the look and you wanna add that extra visual interest and texture to your space, you could just simply swap out a lampshade on a lamp base that you already have. So our expensive lampshade is going to be this linen size side pleat empire lampshade from Ballard Designs priced at $95. And $95 is very pricey for a lampshade. So our dupe is on over at Target and we have this large pleated lampshade in white by Threshold for $20. And I actually saw this in the store the other day. I thought it seemed to be really good quality and I thought $20 was a really good price. So again, I know the pleated lampshade trend isn't for everyone. They do collect dust, but they are kind of pretty if you are looking to just add that little extra touch a visual interest to your space and maybe a cheap way to participate in the trends for $20. It could be a fun update. So yeah, I just thought this one was a great price and a good way to kind of get that designer trendy look in your space right now. Okay, so it wouldn't be a dupes video if I didn't incorporate some sort of vase. So we have this Joshua vase at Pottery Barn. This is a bestseller. I've actually shown dupes on this before, but I found another really good one for it. So I wanted to share it with you, but I absolutely love the look of this. I love the black distressing. I think it's a classic look. Lots of designers use black distressed vases in their decorating and it's just one of those really expensive looks. Also something that I'm personally very drawn to when it comes to sourcing vases are handle details. I think it just adds that extra little touch of visual interest and kind of gives off that old world feel, which I personally love. So this vase checks all of those boxes, but it is a little bit pricey at $100. As far as vases go, it's not horrible, but still just a little bit more than I like to spend. So we're gonna head on over to JCPenney and we have this new Linden Street black terracotta vase priced at $47.99 right now with the code for basics. So typically JCPenney does run sales. So the price might fluctuate at the time of filming this video, but you know, you can count on it being roughly half of what the Pottery Barn one is. And this one I just do wanna point out is one inch shorter than the Pottery Barn one, but still very similar in size. So great option here 
here. And something that I'm noticing lots of designers starting to use in their vase filler are magnolia stems. And if you're looking for a very realistic magnolia stem, A Floral has them. They have this 34 inch artificial magnolia branch for $38. This looks to be very realistic. Whether you use a whole bunch of them and mix them in with florals or just one or two, I think that these are so pretty. I will point out too that you can also go to Hobby Lobby and get magnolia stems. They have them there for much cheaper. But if you're looking for something online, JC Penny has these Linden Street Magnolia Leaf stems. You know, you could order them with your vase and these are $11.99 for a set of two, which I thought was a really good deal. Um, these do seem to be a little bit smaller and a little bit less full. So you might have to buy a couple more of them in order to get that full look. But I just thought it was a good option as well. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this set of designer dupes. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help to support my channel and make sure you're subscribed because I post new home decor content every single week. And I'm also very active in my community page with sharing things like new arrivals, great deals and sales, things like that. So that's another benefit of being subscribed. Also, everything from this video will be linked down below. So check the description box if you wanna reference something. And I just wanna thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you found some sort of value or inspiration in it, and I hope you have a fabulous week, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!